Hey guys, what is going on? This is Largno1, and welcome back to part 11 of my Let's Play of Civilization Beyond Earth. We are playing as the African Union, and we are going for a purity victory. Last time, we were able to push up. We, we still haven't lost any units, and we were able to secure the position for Xerxes. Hopefully this will become a good tack jet forward to allow us to push a little bit into Tiangong's land and eh, be a general, just like, dickbag to them. Um, they continue to push into the center here. We have very little to actually stop them because fully health armors are really hard to just bomb with tack jets. So we kind of need support. That said, we need our line of defense down here to make sure that no armor gets through to hit Bonigani another couple times. That's sort of important. Alrighty. Um, one thing I kind of want to do before I go on is go ahead and check that everything is queued up on the right tiles for growth. So this is definitely important, that's important, and that's important. We want to get that one also. Um, we could. Uh, the question is, what are the production alternatives? All right, in Magan, I just want to get this out of the way. Is these two production things going to be bothersome? Um, it's probably best to build another attack jet. Uh, as it is, we have three in existence, one queued up, two cities with attack jets, or three cities might not even be bad, so... It's best to just build more. Alrighty, so what to build here? Um, Thorium Reactor would be really nice for energy. Uh, the lab would be really nice for science. The auto plant is good for long term stuff. Mm -hmm. What to do? I'm going to go for long term. Because um, I intend for all my cities to be long term insane. So, with that said. Let's lock this last guy down here, and that'll make us grow just that much faster. So that's Tabo micromanaged. Let's go ahead and do Janali. For some reason, this game just hates locking on tiles that are excellent for your growth. So let's go ahead and make sure that it does just that. We need all these tiles. Uh, this one too. Eh, it's such a good tile. Oh, this one's better. You know, the lack of one food is made up for by two production, two science, and one energy. But that is Janali micromanaged. A gun. Let's definitely lock into all these giant food places. You know, Magan actually doesn't have that many. It'll have one more with this farm done. And growth's not going to be an issue after vertical farming comes out. So we don't really have that much to worry about. Let's definitely get Iron Ravagers back. And we still have one city left to micro. Ion. Alright, we've got these tiles locked down. Let's lock that down as well. This one should be locked, and that looks good. Give the rest, give a little bit of freedom. But I want to grow quickly, because when you go knowledge, this guy right here means that adding more people is equivalent to more health. Not the other way around, which doesn't really make a bunch of sense, but oh well. Let's get all our guys into friendly territory, have them heal up, and we'll definitely hold Xerxes. Be a lot easier if we could get another melee unit up here. But we'll work with what we have. Alright, so now we do have three tack jets on standby. Um, I forget, what is the damage output of a tack jet on a colonist? No clue. At any rate, we could do an open blast on this armor. Not a bad idea. Um, just kind of invites him to start pillaging stuff. Let's do it. I want to see what it does. We'll definitely give that tack jet some XP. Some opening XP. Meanwhile, let's definitely get this road underway. And with that farm done, let's grab one more. Farms are going to be very soon just invaluable. Let's see what they do now. All our units are healing up. She wants a blank peace treaty. Um, this means a peace treaty with my ally too, and you know we need to keep pressure on them. So I'm gonna go ahead and say no. But ten turns isn't that long. Ten turns and we could have all of our stuff going relatively smoothly. And I don't think we really intended to attack. The only problem is it shuts down any ability for us to actually kill them. And they have a colonist that's about to be put down. So no, no. Yep, that's what I thought. They wanted peace because they wanted to be able to put the colonists down. Sneaky, but, you know. So they killed the trade unit. That was from Tabo, I think. Yep. 
That knocked our science down just that much. We're gonna make moves to wipe out this as soon as we can. Um, I don't think any of our attack jets are actually in range, but we take out these forwards and we've got all these melee units just ready to pounce on one line. See, that's why you don't make peace with your neighbors when they just seem like, eh, we're gonna put cities down wherever we want. Let's definitely get Inglorious Eagles into friendly cover. Heal up. Where's our attack jet here? Uh, we could keep bombing. We kind of need to deal with existing melee units. White Revenants, what to do about them? They have 87 health. We could probably wait for them to heal to full, but eh, let's get them down this way. Alright, Sinister Thorns, 75 health. Uh, one heal should bring them up swimmingly. Bone Echo's got 89 health. That is good enough for me. Move him in, and ra a little Raptor Bug here, our little pal, kind of needs to sit tight. Get our two Marines that way. And just have our range units kind of just sit tight right wherever they are. Our attack jet here. He blasted last turn, um, so let's definitely just heal up. You know, we might just want to send one of our gunners home. That's not a bad idea. We have this zone under control, I think. With with this friendly territory, all our units will heal faster. It should be good. Um, attack jet here. Let's heal up next turn and see what opportunities this opens up for us. Keep the rest of our gunners nice where they are. Get our farm. So Huanlei is not going to be a thing. I'm pretty certain of that. Um, we kind of just have to deal with all their military assets as soon as we can. So they destroyed another trade route. I think that was from... Nope, that was not Magan. It was Janali. Um, I just noticed something, by the way. We do have a bit of... Uh, what is it called? Eh, influence? It's intrigue, that's what it is. Um, built up in Magan. So we'll deal with that as the time comes. We could probably build Magan another farm, and I, uh, it's not too bad. It is Magan's territory. Yes, it is. So we do have to deal with this, like, now. Um, one more... We can probably build a spy agency eventually, but, you know, we gotta get our tack jets out. It's kind of important. Is check jet finished? Let's move him to Magan. And get our gunner back. Clone Echo can probably push in, but I want to minimize... Alright, so we can definitely get the flanking bonus. It's going to help. Um, we can blast once. You know what we could do is... Hit him. Don't expect to kill it. And then finish it off with the gun, uh, with the plane. It's not a bad idea. It gives us tons of basically free XP on the plane. Yep, a kill and you take one damage. That's how you like it. Alrighty. So White Revenants is here. Um, we can we could push this way and do the same thing up here and wipe out this gunner. Like I don't think that's a bad idea. So let's go ahead and do that. We kind of just want to clear this region of enemy units. Um, don't want to have the risk of just a random gunner running around. Double attack jet. And clean that up. There we go. Alrighty, so... We have finished our tack jet. What to build now? You know... Magan, we could have build the spy agency immediately after being done with this tack jet. That would get us a third one here. Um, we would just need one more. So let's go ahead and build a second tack jet in Janali. Meanwhile, let's get Iron Wild cards that much closer. And the Unholy Thorns, uh, what's their health at? 83? Eh, that's fine. Let's have our little Raptor Bug keep healing. And keep working on this Petrol. Working on that farm. Yeah, they're putting a lot of pressure in, in the... Give them that. So an alien nest just spawned down here, so... Kinda calls for a marine to do work. Uh, jeez. It can probably wait. We can just have iron wild cards wait right here. And we'll just use the city strike from Bongani to help. 
Um, not really worried that'll take any of our assets out. Um, yeah, should be fine. And, you know, the Raptor Bucket help out too, next turn, once it's healed. Let's get this last road. And Unholy Thorns can definitely push up towards Juan Light, but maybe we don't want to move them onto that Miasma Tile. Let's go ahead and get Sinister Thorns here, so we can get our flanking bonus. And maybe we want to do... Healing our Marine is going to take longer, and I just want to put pressure on Juan Lei. So maybe we want to lead with attack jet strikes. We should be able to shoot with all of them, actually. So let's take our Expert first. Yeah, we can do a full attack jet kill here, I think. It's five attack jets, so you can do a lot of damage. Basically, they're in the eye of the cross storm, whatever. Give them a real good bombing. Bomb, 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 bomb the PAC. Alrighty. Here we go. And free XP for our new recruited attack jet. This one, on the other hand, um, we could probably rebase him up to Tabo. He'll probably be more of use to us. Meanwhile, Clone Echo, um, if we heal him up this turn, he'll be at 100. And, oh, he's not going to heal this turn, is he? We moved him, I think. In that case, eh, whatever. Let's get Unholy Thorns that away. Should be good right here. Attacked it, John and Magan. Um, the last one's going to come from Janali, which case it opens us up to have an opportunity to build this spy agency. Or we could go with our trade convoys because they were knocked out. I don't think that's actually a bad idea. Um, eh, let's just go ahead and build it, you know? I tend to put it off for way too long, and I understand it's one of my basic biases, and it's not good, so. Let's have White Revenants just heal up. He does work. Meanwhile, white demons can come down, and I think we pulled off- oh, we're building a generator here. Wonderful. Farm is about to be half as good, but oh well, you know, generators are good. They are coming in hard with armor. It is too bad we have bunker busters, not really, but we've got our tack jets. Let's go ahead and heal up the ones that look a little too hurt, and this fresh one should be good to bomb. Alrighty, um, we kind of have to take a bit of a forward here, so I'm not opposed to pushing up on this grassland here. Ugh, he could get hit by, eh, actually just one, you know? If he moves this way, he can't, he finishes his movement, so if this one comes in, we'd only get hit by one. Um, we can definitely plunder the trade route, free energy, and move white demons in for a free shot. Range units plus uh, attack jets are one of the best combos in the game, because the range units will hit them down to, you know, half health, where it's really safe for your attack jets to do a lot of damage for basically free. Let's go ahead and, yeah, get a blast off right here. White Revenant says 96 health, he'll be fine. Let's get Sinister Thorns right here, and where is Echo? Right yonder. We'll take it out. We'll take Juan Layout next turn. Let's get Unholy Thorns that way. And our Raptor Bug is at 95 health. It seems good enough for me. Get ready, and we can probably start the attack now. Seriously, though, Raptor Bugs are not to be screwed with. Up north, we can probably put Ingler's Eagles right here should be good right there, and the rest of our units, I'm not opposed to where they are. Pretty good positions. Alrighty, attack jet here, now disciplined. No targets for him though. Okay, let's we'll shield these guys up then. And our petroleum well is finally done, and we are unhealthy once more. Bless the unhealth, or it is glorious. Alright, let's get our worker this way, and I'm going to send him all the way down. Blessed be those who are unhealthy. They are alive.
Okay, insult me. Why don't you? No, he's our ally. Not gonna happen, buddy. In fact, you're probably spying on us. Alright, they're doing a bit of a rundown on... What is this guy? The Iron Wild Parts? Yep. So, Bongani is a city now, and we are once again thoroughly unhealthy. Uh, that said, we can either do that, or, you know, this is probably a good option, too. It won't... It actually, it gives us no XP, so, no. We're just gonna heal up. And shoot. And this guy doesn't even have levels, but there you go. Killing your own kind like that, Raptor Bug. Why you gotta do? Alrighty, Tac Jet finished in Janali. It is thoroughly time to get a cloning plant. Those things are dope. Let's go ahead and get our Tac Jet. Swap that to my gun. And... I don't think our Tac Jets here can actually do anything. That said, the ones up here are ready and good to go. This guy is going to heal up to 92 next turn. Seriously, 20 heal a turn is kind of insane. Um, it's really hard to deal with. So, let's go ahead and blast. Meanwhile, here, let's have Clone Echo do the first opening strike. And, who's this guy? Sinister Thorns can do a secondary hit. Pull in this guy, and drop more hits on their armor. Or maybe not. You know, this guy's actually relatively weak. Eh, we could save it for last. Don't we have one more attack jet? Pretty sure we do. But that's the weak one. This one's actually too hurt to do anything. So, how about this? Let me just do a good strike right here. I don't want to give this guy too much XP that he can fully heal. Because that would just be obnoxious. Get our worker in the city down this way. Finish this road. And you can actually shoot right here. We might have been able to actually kill it. In fact, can we? Yeah, it's close. We could do it. I'm not going to risk it. This guy's going to be fully healed next turn. Well, not fully, but a lot more than he is. Bongani is done. Let's go ahead and build a trade depot. Get Inglorious Eagles right there. Our attack jets can't really do anything at this range. Just set them to air intercept, I guess. Oh well. Let's see what the PAC has for us. Okay, they can shoot. Is that it? Yeah, looks like it'll it'll be it. Alrighty. Uh, white demons can probably just give them a confirmed kill. As for our tech guts, they can probably just kill this guy. Let's see. Major damage. This one can shoot next. Alright, if everything is lucky, we should be able to kill it. Yeah, that looks like a kill, but maybe not. Nope. Got him down to, like, one health. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and get a kill with our troopers right here. Not a kill, but wipe out this little city attempt. Good try, good try. Not on our turf, buddy. And get Unholy Thorns healing up. As well as Clone Echo. Our Raptor Bug here is not fully healed. Very close. we we'll set him on to that. And that should be good. Alrighty, so it is a good thing that our farms are about to be really sick, so we can actually probably build them on the desert and be pretty much fine. Um, yeah. You know, this is really good too. We could buy this tile, but eh, I'm not gonna. We'll put the farms, and then as soon as we have a vivarium up, it'll just be Dandy City. We pissed off the aliens, seemingly. Looks like the Kraken's orange. Uh, we look good here, though. I'll definitely move my planes to Tabo and Xerxes when the option is available. Until then, continue to get our workers south. You know, something I've wanted to do is actually buy out this petroleum tile. Um, it's gonna be Magan's, so... And it, Magan actually does need the extra production. 
Four mines is nice, but it's just kind of not enough. I like my capital to be kind of production powerhouse. So let's keep on going with that. Definitely build a farm on this here. Actually, you know what? It's probably time to get the Xenomass. And that'll really help Tabo grow. Something happened. Okay. Uh, aliens being dicks. Just general rule of thumb. Uh, the, our network is done in a yawn. And we have the option for the gene garden here, uh, which is probably a good time to build. It'll bring our health to the cap here. And have we grown or are there any food tiles that we should be working, but we're not? No. Uh, we've been pretty bad on food, though. So unless there's any other tiles, you know, let's go ahead and build on this guy. Because it's actually a really good tile. Blood plane. And after our farms are done, oh boy, you're not going to be able to stop us. Alright, let's go ahead and grab the Xenomass well. And... There we go. Probably... Yeah, we'll back him up. In case some weird things happen. Looks like we're good. We definitely secured our border here. I think we needed to. Um... Yeah, the PAC could still pull some weird shit. But, you know, we can just keep our ranger post... Our gunner posted here. And hope that they don't do any weird shit. Iron wild cards we can probably get back. You know what, let's do that. We'll have one out. I didn't think we need needed two. We needed more melee units up on this front. Alright. Um, ba -ba. Let's go ahead and build the petroleum for our capital. And heal up all of our party attack jets. The White Revenants have gone through quite a bit since they were stationed here as rookies next to Clone Echo. Their glorious, uh, you know, role models. Um, but White Revenants has come a long way. They're actually very close to being an expert. Just 19 experience points away. Let's get everything nice and healed up. See what the pack are doing. Alright, they seem to be pushing up with a bit of a marine. Um, yep. Looks like double marines. I think in glory. Ooh. Alright, artillery, that's not good. Time to counter fire. Okay, what can this guy do for me? Not much where he is, actually, but we could move this way. Jeez, he's completely surrounded. He needs support. question is, do I want to move this guy in and risk getting killed by a marine just so he can fire? And this guy can fire, too. Um, well, first of all, let's just do this shot. Okay, it's definitely the best option. And Inglorious Eagles are going to be absolutely dandy. They're going to heal 30 in friendly territory, which is more than enough to put them into full. Let's not risk losing any units. I think any push is kind of doomed on their part. Um, definitely injure him a little bit. Sorry, my phone was a buzzing. And Suicide Indians, what to do with him? Let's get him back onto this copper mine. Farm is done right here, okay. Let's get this guy back that way. All this will help improve Bongani really quickly. Let's get Iron Wild Cards over here like we said. And Clone Echo, what a badass. You know, might want to send him up north. Uh, we might use a second you know, military melee unit up there. Doesn't sound like a bad idea. In fact, can we do a shot? We can't. From here. Once Xerxes is alive and well, it'll have planes, I'm sure, and it'll be dandy. Yup! No war. Not for us. We got our hands full. Can they fire on the... What? Really? I thought they can't shoot over forests. Whatever, dude. Um, we'll have to hit it this turn, then. Not really opposed. But, looks like the time is up, guys. So, thank you guys for watching. And, what will happen to Xerxes? Well, you'll find out next time. Until then, guys, take care.